Did you ever wonder how to upload bank statements in our SAP s system using Fiori? Well then stay tuned, because now we are going to explore how this is done. Therefore we navigate to the application called Manage Incoming Payment Files. Select this application and here you can see the start screen. So this application is used to facilitate the manual upload of our electronic bank statements. We can click here on Import and then this little pop-up screen appears. Now we can either choose Bank Statement, where the format of the file we try to upload will be recognized automatically, Lockbox Batch with the format BAI2, where BAI stands for the Bank Administration Institute in the United States, and 2 is a special format for cash management balance sheet reporting. However, this is very limited outside of the US. We have the Payment Rejection for importing payment rejection files, where the format needs to be specified manually. We have one for intraday statements. So this we utilize in case our bank provides us intraday statements, so statements multiple times per day. Or we could choose payment file for advanced payment management. So here we are talking about the ISO 2022 files or also custom files. For now we will click here on format recognized automatically. Now you can see there is here an upload file section. We can either drag and drop our files or we can click on add. Now let's imagine that we don't have a file from the bank. We can still test this application by creating such a file from the SAP system itself. This is what I will show you right now. So therefore we must navigate to the backend system. Here in the backend system we must navigate to the transaction SE38, then insert this program over here and hit on execute. And now we can generate a test file. Therefore I will click here on PC download and then I need to provide over here a file name. So where the data should be stored. You can click over here and then open your local desktop and then you just must choose a plain txt file without anything inside. Okay let's scroll down a bit and here in the account details section we provide our company code as well as the house bank the house bank account and here you can see the posting offsetting account which will contain the number of the GL account to which the transaction postings are to be offset. Please be aware that those plus symbols over here are being displayed because the GL account entry is masked against the primary GL account provided. Then you can see here the bank statement data, so the statement date and also the invoice date. Further down we have here the document creation posting method where we can say that we want either all posting screens to be displayed or not to be displayed. For now we'll leave it as is. Further down we have the creating open items customer business partner section where we can specify the open items to be created. For now we'll leave it as is and further down we also have the clearing account settings. For now this is fine because we want to focus on the application itself. We will hit here on execute and this will now generate a test bank statement file. You can see this worked perfectly fine. Now we go back to Fiori and here in Fiori we will now add our file. So I will now simply drag and drop the test file. Like that. You can see the system already recognized that we are talking here about a BAI format and it already selected the Bank Administration Institute in the US. We could always also change it if necessary. You can see there is also a parameter set button over here which will define the controlling parameters for our upload file. But this is a rather technical topic. Now we can click here on process and you can see we get an information message that one file was processed. You can see our file received an ID and this is used to keep track of all of our uploaded files. So this is fine, we will click on OK and if we now select here the imported on today, hit on go then we can see our bank statement was uploaded. However, right now you can see it's in the status error. So let's actually inspect here the bank statement. Here we can see the general information. So one record was rejected. We have our attachment where we can even take a look at the file we tried to upload. And then here we can see the log details. So the system informs us that we uploaded here a bank statement with six lines. However, the system noticed that the same bank statement was already uploaded before. So now we have here two more options. We can either click here on reprocess. So the system will try to reprocess the statement or we can mark it as obsolete. Like that. Let's now go back and inspect one that was uploaded successfully. 
here this one I uploaded before we can click in this one and here we will see the imported records is set to 1 and from there we can also jump to for instance our managed bank statements application where we can see all the information of the bank statement including the other information and also the bank statement items that were processed right now they are none because this is just a test file let's go back and last but not least please be aware that there is also an application called reprocess bank statement items where we could now when we hit on go check the bank statement items that were uploaded but need manual rework to be processed by the system and actually result in postings so here we could click on those to inspect all the issues and then we have here a monitor to actually conduct the reprocessing this is what i will show you in another video for now this is it i hope you liked the video if so then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell also make sure to subscribe to my patreon where we have a community chat and where i post lots of informative documents about sap the link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.